Good morning, America. This is Joe McHugh, October 11th, 2019, for another session of news interpretation for you. This is news for Americans. Uh, quick update on the, um, well, basically everything that's going on with, with the administration and Ukraine and everything else. And the uh, Trump lost a, um, a battle to protect his, uh, his tax records and um, a recent diplomat is, that said he was not going to be testifying is now going to be testifying. And Giuliani uh, had some key aides that, are, uh, that just got arrested for trying to leave the country. Um, what does this all point to? Well, to me, it points to that the, the news is tightening around the administration. But what I think is even more interesting is that if the government pulls the thread enough on this uh, they may find a little bit more. Keep in mind that both Giuliani and Trump are from New York City. Giuliani was the mayor of the city in 2001. I would not be surprised if there is a connection to 9-11 being an inside job with this process. Um, it'll be interesting to find out if, if, um, if more comes to light in that regard as they pull the thread on this Ukraine issue. Moving on to Syria. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about, um, about Syria and why we were there. And I, I did a quick search so that I could find some information for you so that I can you know, help further explain it. This article is from 2015, and it's an Australian news service that provided it. But it has a, a fantastic map uh, that shows that the Cotter gas, which I wrote an article about in 2017 and shared with you yesterday, would travel through Saudi Arabia and Syria and Turkey into Western Europe. Now, this is the alternate pipeline uh, to get gas uh, through or into Western Europe. If Ukraine is blocked, this is the only other way to get pipeline gas into Western Europe. And so when you hear about ISIS and Al-Qaeda, and keep in mind that when this all started in Syria, Russia was also saying that they were fighting terrorists and we were fighting terrorists, and yet we were fighting on opposite sides. So what this really means is that Syria is merely a proxy war between the United States and Russia, just as so many wars in the past have been, including Vietnam, was a proxy war between the U.S. and China and Russia. Um, and then uh, Iran looks like it would be the same thing because they tend to be allied with, with Russia as well. So um, this is just to, just to give you an idea of what's going on. It really does come down to, to natural gas. And if we were not using natural gas, then we would not have any reason to get involved from a military standpoint. And the 2 million refugees that are now settled in Turkey, which is the reason why Turkey wants to invade Syria, supposedly, to resettle those refugees back in Syria, which is totally unnecessary because they could just resettle them back in Syria if they wanted to and just have them go there. But that requires the stability. So again, if, if we were not on oil and gas, none of this would be happening. None of this would be happening. And uh, everything would be much more stable. Which brings me to my next point in there is a big pipe. There's a big uh, power outage in California. Hundreds of thousands of people are affected. 500,000 people have been cut off from electricity on the fear that it may cause a forest fire. Now, there's already a forest fire raging through Los Angeles that was triggered for another reason. Um, I don't know if this, if the forest fire. It may be, you know, maybe that the forest fire was the primary concern, or it may also be. Maybe, you know, for two reasons. The second reason might be that the electricity usage uh, in California may be too much for the system to handle, and that caused rolling blackouts just uh, over the past couple of years. And so one of the ways to, to streamline power usage is through the use of geothermal, which is the reason why I wanted to launch, why I worked to launch my company, Earth Loans, we make loans and investments for a healthy planet. And the concept is to allow individuals to make their mark, become an impact superhero by investing their money with their values. And initially, it's a vertically integrated geothermal heating and cooling platform so that we can offset the use of fuel oil and gas in homes and replace it with renewable geothermal. So a comparable for solar for, for Earth loans would be solar city from a geothermal perspective plus ripple from a crypto perspective. And so this is a billion dollar concept that we're working on here. Just to give you an idea what the vision would be for Earth Loans, it's not specific to geothermal alone, 
this would be um, this would be so that we create loans and investments entirely. So any any sort of um, investment opportunity for the market that would improve our alignment with the planet would be considered uh, something that Earth Loans would go to market with. However, initially we would open new markets starting with geothermal because geothermal offers an opportunity to eliminate uh, fuel oil use in homes and buildings, uh, which is the largest source of CO2 outside of transportation in, 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 in tra whereas transportation has already been addressed or is attempting to be addressed with electric vehicles. No such effort has been made in the, in the carbon space with, with, with building stock. And so this is, this is a 100% renewable carbon-free uh, option. And so you can see that both my business as well as the platform are 100% aligned. The objective is to create a clean, green, and free America. And in doing so, if we were to create that, that credit union that we're talking about, um, a planet-friendly credit union that offers a citizen dividend, then we would end up having more money for more people. We will be healthier, wealthier, and free. We would not be going to war for oil and gas. We would not be creating refugee crises all over the world. Uh, we would free up our military to focus on things that are more, pr more properly aligned with the planet, like, for example, doing something about the Brazilian burning down of, of the Amazon. Now, that, I think, is not so much a military effort, although certainly our military could could help in that regard. But I think it's more of an economic issue uh, of what's going on there. And so that is where the, you know, something like uh, an Earth Loans cryptocurrency, whereas NatureCoin allows for the harvesting and investment of money into nonprofit land trusts so that we can actually pay farmers or pay uh, people to own the land and keep it in its, con in, in its uh, natural form, that would provide the economic incentive so that they wouldn't go and burn down the Amazon and destroy 20% of the world's oxygen. Now, again, call me crazy, but I think that having oxygen to breathe is more important than going after using fossil fuels that are going to basically just destroy the planet in the process. We could be using renewables and everything would be better if we were. So this would be the cycle. It's a, you know, a whether, whether we use, choose to issue a cryptocurrency from the credit union or, or not, or from a company, if we're not able to get the credit union going, the concept is it becomes a virtuous cycle instead of a vicious cycle. We align, we align humanity and nature. Uh, we create liquidity for non-liquid conservation assets. We improve and lower the cost for climate change and adaptation, pollution mitigation, ecosystem restoration. And we shift the price curve in favor of planet-friendly products and services, as well as providing global citizens with a protection against uh, inflation with their own domestic currency, like in Venezuela, Argentina, and other areas. So again, everything is linked. And um, it's important that we keep that in mind. If we really want to make a change in the world, we need to get away from the Federal Reserve. We need to get in turn, we need to launch a clean, green, citizen-owned credit union, and that clean, green, citizen-owned credit union would invest in renewables, and it would allow people around the world to have a freer, healthier, wealthier way of life. So this is Joe McHugh with another version of today's news, and ladies and gentlemen, we need to go clean, green, and free. If you like what we're talking about here, please like and subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Uh, buy the book, donate, donate to the campaign for a buck or more. Um, this is, this is, this is what we need to do to renew America. Uh, you can go to libertystrikesback.com for more information. Thanks again for your time, and I look forward to hearing your feedback.